G'day folks, Wayne from Man Bay Fishing, welcome back to the channel. Different sort of a video today. We're not going to do a video where I go out and catch some fish and tell you what leader I'm using and tell you what braid I'm using. Today I'm going to do a maps and spots video. I'm going to start up here at the northern end of Scarborough, North Point Reef, Castlereagh Reef, and then we're going to move south through Scarborough Reef, Osborne Point, Brewery Point down to Shield Street. So they're the, they're the places we're going to talk about. In between that, you've got a few beaches like Scarborough Beach and Queen's Beach. We'll have a chat about them, show you a little bit of old footage in relation to Queen's Beach, and I'll show you a little bit of old, old footage in relation to fish, fishing the shallows just out here. Right where we're start, standing, just to the north of me, out in the middle of the water, is North Reef. I'll show you that with a bit of a long distance shot. North Reef is a great place. You'll see on the weekends, a thousand boats out there. It's near impossible to catch fish out there on the weekends. I will not fish that place on the weekends. Only fish that midweek. That's North Reef. All the reef around it, the shallow reef, this reef that's not exposed at low tide, there's plenty of it there for horse fish. You don't have to go out to the reef that you can see at low tide and fish with every other Tom, Dick and Harry. Sound around if you've got a sounder and you'll find plenty of spots that hold fish. There's so much shallow reef here, and when I, when I say shallow, it's not that shallow. There are places out here that are four metres deep. That's inside North Reef, or three and a half metres. Then the other side, just the other side of North Reef, you go straight out to five metres and six metres. And there's plenty of bombies and structures through there, straight around to Turner's. You've got all the artificial reefs there at Turner's. So plenty of deep water, or deeper water structure. But inside North, North Reef, anything over a metre and a half, and with plenty of reef under it, all holds good fish. Well worth considering. There are particular times that I won't fish. A really clear flat day where you've got a light westerly, got no chop on the water, beautiful in the middle of winter, you can see the bottom. I won't go out and fish it at that point. At that point, it's just too clear. And it's just like you, if you've got somebody with a gun above your head only six meters away, you're gonna run away and hide. You're not gonna pay any attention to him. You're gonna ignore him. The same with the fish, if it's that clear, the water's that smooth, that clear, the fish will bugger off, you'll have a bad day's fishing. A little bit of chop, a little bit of southeast, you get a bit of chop on the water, that's the day to go fishing. A little bit less comfortable, but it's certainly a day that you will catch fish. There's steps all the way down the, the peninsula. We've got steps right up at Castlereagh Point. We've got steps here down at Scarborough Point. The steps down at Jury Point. We'll get you down to the beach. Not too many people use it to go land-based fishing. Heaps of people use it to go walking, beautiful place to walk, better place to fish. Well worth thinking about. So behind me we've got Scarborough Point. Scarborough Point is one of my favourite places to squid fish. It's probably the second place I stop at night time. You'll find a lot of people up here at night time with the headlights on. What they're doing with those headlights is squid fishing. Through the high tide here, all of this reef here that you're currently looking at in the background, totally covered. The squid come right in from literally metres away from the shoreline right up to the shoreline. So you don't have to cast very far. Plenty of snags. So squid fishing, if you're not getting snags, you're not going to catch fish. One of the better nighttime squid fishing spots, Scarborough Reef. All this reef through here on the lower tide, you can walk and you'll catch brim, especially in the springtime. As the weather just starts to warm up, you'll still have the westerlies, August, September. And as that weather start, uh, the water temperatures start to rise, the brim come right in and for whatever reason they become ravenous. They feed like crazy in here in the shallow water. So foot, foot and a half of water, throw your top water out and you, you can't have any more fun than top water fishing around Scarborough Reef in the springtime. So Drury Point. Drury Point is probably, out of all the points down here, this is one of my favourites. You can be fished pretty much at any tide, low or high. Just up here on the rock, you see the point of the rocks. If you're young enough, fit enough, and well balanced enough, walk out to the end of that, that point. Throw in a northeasterly direction as hard as you can, and even at low tide, you'll land in three metres of water. It's perfect for snapper fishing. If you're going to land based snapper fish at night time, three metres of water at low tide you'll still find them in close enough to catch them. High tide, you'll get them off the bank here. So walk around as far as you can, depending on the moon phase and how far the water's going to be in. Today, as you can see, we're a quarter moon at the moment, and that's a whole different video, moon phases. But we're a quarter moon right now, so 
so the tide's not going to be a big tide and it's not going to be a real low tide. Not a lot of current, probably my least favourite moon to fish on, but what it does do, it often gives you the opportunity to get a little bit closer to where this 3 metre hole is out here. Dead low tide, you can actually see the reef, especially if you've got a westerly and it's nice and flat, you'll see the reef, you cast just beside the reef, just beside that reef, you cast in between 2.5 metres and 3 metres of water. So, well worth considering for your bigger brim, snapper, tailor at night time, um, you'll even catch the occasional dew here if you get lucky enough and fish it off and enough. Well worth considering, Drury Point. Just the other side of Drury Point, and we'll go down there now, um, we'll have a look at uh, Queen's Beach. Queen's Beach, I've done quite a few videos on Queen's Beach. I never seem to have any trouble catching brim and flat out of Queen's Beach. Just about everybody else I talk to though, seems to have trouble. I don't know why. Probably got something to do with technique. When you're watching my videos, don't just watch me pull a fish in. Check out the actual type of rig that I've got on, how heavy that jig head is. The jig head, whether it be weedless or, or a, a standard jig head, you'll find a really lightly weighted, light line jig head uh, thrown as far as you can throw it with a westerly behind you. First thing in the morning, you're almost guaranteed to catch from the flat end. So that's Drury Point, um, that's Queen's Beach, we'll move down to Osborne Point, we'll have a look at that. Them and everybody's favourite, Shield Street, we'll go down and have a look at Shield Street. So this is Osborne Point, you can see the reef out here behind me, really good shallow reef. A little bit harder to fish this one than Shield Street because of how much reef there is. And Shield Street does have some deep holes in around the reef, so you'll find that Shield Street will often fill up before Osborne Point. That said, don't discard Osborne Point, it is a very good reef. So particularly the three or four nights either side of the full moon. This is an awesome place. It's well lit through the moon and the reef is completely covered on a high tide those three nights either side of the full moon. And you have got enough depth here, particularly in a, in a light southeast, that the snapper will come right in close. So very good land-based snapper spot. Also good squid spot. Big, uh, big brim here. And there's so much sand around here. This is to the north of uh, Osborne Point. You've got Queen's Beach, and that's all sand with a little bit of rubble. And then to the uh, southern side of Osborne Point, you've got South Queen's Beach, and that's all sand, pretty much sand and weed. So both of them great fishing in their own right. When spring starts, the water warms up. The widen come in from South Queen's Beach south. If that makes sense. So all the way down to Scott's Point, this is where you catch your whining. Dig your wrigglers, your blood worms, and uh, come down here and fix the whining from the first full moon of September, which isn't too far away from today, only about five weeks. So this is Osborne Point. Last place we'll go is Shield Street, and I'll tell you why we're going to get there. Righto, that brings us down to Shield Street, and Shield Street certainly last, but no means least. Shield Street's probably one of the better snapper spots. You'll see more snapper caught here. I personally don't fish it very often because it's just too busy. As you can see now, we're not out on the actual platform at Shield Street because there's a couple of guys out there with about 15,000 rods. So it's busy all the time, Shield Street. That said, it's not as busy if you come down here in the better hours, which are nighttime hours. Come down here at night on a high tide to Shield Street. Often you'll find one or two people fishing here, but if you can find a space at Shield Street on a high tide, free three days either side of that full moon or no moon, you'll catch fish here. Big brim, snapper, squid, tailor at night time in the winter. That's the sort of thing that you'll get at Shore Street. It's the absolute pick of the bunch when it comes to the actual reef. So if you're fishing in a boat, Shield Street on the other side, where there's a lot less people fish it, that's where you'll find the trophy fish. The other side of Shield Street Reef, which you'll need a boat to get to, you won't be able to cast it is one of the premium spots around here if you've got yourself a tub. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. And we're on. It's a leaping lizard.